Number 43. The escape velocity from the moon is much smaller than from Earth and is only 2.38 km per second. At what temperature would hydrogen molecules, which has a molecular mass of about 2 gram per mole, have an average velocity of V sub R mass equal to the moon's escape velocity? All right. So basically what we need is we're trying to find the temperature and we're basically given the root mean square velocity, okay, which is this number right here. We might not have it in the right units, but that's essentially the value. So what we need to know is we need to know then an equation that relates temperature to root mean square velocity. Now we have one, okay? We have this formula that the root mean square velocity is equal to the square root of three multiplied by the Boltzmann constant multiplied by the temperature in Kelvin divided by then the mass of a single atom or molecule, depending upon what you're talking about. In this problem, we're talking about hydrogen molecules, all right? So this will be the mass of a single hydrogen molecule. Now, if you're wondering where this equation came from, please check out my general video on the kinetic theory of gases. I talk all about it. It'll be very helpful. So what I realized, though, is that this equation relates velocity to the temperature. Now, our goal is to solve for the temperature, so let's just do that right off the bat. Let's just get that out of the way. I have to then square both sides, all right? So I have then V sub RMS squared will equal then 3 times K times T all over M. Right, it gets rid of the square, gets rid of the square root over here. Now the goal is to solve for t. All I need to do then is remove these three terms from the uh, from the right hand side, basically, right? So how we're going to do that is by simply taking what's in the numerator on the right hand side, bringing that down into the denominator on the left, bringing what's ever in the denominator on the right hand side, and bringing it up into the numerator on the left, and then just put your little division sign, and voila. All done. Simple. Okay. And there's the formula. Now we need to know these three things. Do we know the uh, root mean square velocity we want to plug in? Well, we know it in kilometers per second, but we need it in meters per second. Oh, these silly people giving us these units, right? So all I need to do is convert this into meters per second, but you know, we can just simply take the kilometer value, multiply it by a thousand. So this should be simple. This should be 2,380 meters per second. Okay, that would be the velocity that we're going to use for the problem. If you're not sure of how I arrived at this, the dimensional analysis, I've actually done it on problem number 42. So check that one out. All right. I did the work over there. Now I will do the work for this one. All right. We have to then find the other missing piece then in this formula is going to be the mass of a molecule of hydrogen. So basically they gave us the mass per mole and we need to know mass per molecule, right? Why? Because we're talking about hydrogen molecules here. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to take the 2.016 gram per one mole and we need to convert this then into kilograms. Remember mass in physics is going to be in kilograms divided then by or over I should say molecule. That's our conversion. That's how we got to do it. Well, not how we got it. That's what we have to do. That's not how we're going to do it. But this is how we're going to do it. <laughs> that reminds me of that movie. Uh, it's with Will Farrell. Oh, what was it called? I don't remember now. And I think, was it Zach Galifianakis? I think so. And he was like, uh, he was like that's how we're going to do it. And he was like the quintessential politician. And... Uh, <laughs> like provided no explanation as to what's going on. I'm not getting into politics here. I just thought it was quite funny. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment below. Uh, if you don't, uh, check out the movie. So here we have gram per one mole. And I got to get rid of grams, so they go on the bottom. Uh, kilogram then goes on the top. There's a thousand grams and one kilogram. Very good. So now we can cancel the grams. So now we would have kilogram per mole, but I don't want to stop there, right? I got to keep going. I got to get rid of mole. So mole goes in the numerator this time. Why? Because it originated in the denominator. So you have to put them on opposite sides. So moles in the top and then molecules on the bottom. And we know that this is Avogadro's number now. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules in one mole. That looks like 73 down there, doesn't it? But I meant 23. Okay. And now the moles will cancel. So see you later, mole. And now all we got to do is just plug this on into the calculator. So here we have 2.016. Divided them by, in parentheses, 1,000 multiplied by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And we get a 
uh, kilogram value of 3.35 or so times 10. I guess I should have four sig figs, but whatever. Uh, well, I guess not because this is already rounded to three here. Honestly, who cares? Um, this is to minus 27. And this will be then kilogram per molecule. Okay. When we plug in the units here, we're only going to plug in, you know, the unit of kilogram into the formula here. We needed to know the mass per single molecule, and that's what we just that's what I just proved to you that we found. So now all I now all I need to do is just plug it all in, right? So let's plug in the mass is going to be 3.35 times 10 to the minus 27th. The velocity then was 2380, that's going to be squared, and then simply divide that now by 3 multiplied by our Boltzmann constant of 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. This is all equal to the temperature. And now finally, lo and behold, let's see what we get. So we'll take that answer, multiply it by 2380 squared, divided then by 3 times 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23rd. And we get about 458 Kelvin or so, right? 458 Kelvin. And that's the temperature. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Help us out, subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends, all right? We'd appreciate any one of them. All three would be great. And uh, if you can't do any of them, sure. All right, take care.